We're going to the next best city. Oh, look at this kid. What is he doing? He's just in there. <laughs> look how beautiful it is out here. <laughs> look how fat he is. <laughs> Get him run. This is the my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, electric. So it is electric. <laughs> uh, uh, he's too, he's too. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I feel like a wizard. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry. Help, help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Good morning from Kyrgyzstan. After our failed attempt to get into uh, Anilshek, we're going to the next best city, or the next best abandoned city, I should say, which is known as Jogaland. So apparently, about five to 10 years ago, you could buy property you could buy land in Jogaland for around 10 to 20 dollars but since then as uh, tourism has started to really boom in Karakol uh, Jogaland is expected to be kind of that next uh, that next hit city so it's not too touristy at the moment we're gonna go check it out and spend the night there uh, apparently there's abandoned coal mines there's abandoned quarries abandoned buildings uh, a lot of abandoned stuff I'm here with my friend Jake and we're in the car that is actually working surprisingly. It started. Yeah, it started. So, as you would have seen in the last video, we had uh, a few issues with uh, old mate. We need to give it a name. What are we gonna. I don't know. Let's uh. It's a, it's a Lada, right? Right. Uh, off the top of my. Lada Neva. Lada Neva. Uh, Nelson the Neva. Alright. <laughs> Nelson the Neva. This is Nelson now. Uh, anyways, we're gonna drive on over to Jogland and we'll bring you all along for the journey. We were just driving along the road and we saw this huge like hole in the ground. Um, I'm guessing that is saying like no trespassing, 5,000 some fine. Um, but it's just around this corner. It's like from the outside, it looks huge. I have no idea what on earth it is. Oh, what the hell? It's not even a hole. It's just like... Yeah, anti <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That was so... Uh... I thought it was going to be a huge hole. <laughs> Well, this is the hole that we found. Um, I really have no idea what it is. All right, guys, we have made it to Jogaland. So Jake says that there's kind of like three parts to this city. There's a. Uh, Actually, I'll let you explain it. Uh, so where are we heading right now? We're heading to sort of the main part of town. Uh huh. Um, there's quite a few abandoned buildings here down that side of the town. Yep. Where we're staying, there's just a few sort of like farmhouses kind of things. Uh -huh. Uh, and then the other side of town is where all of the mines are. Yeah, um, mad. So we'll head there later. Cool. So there's a pretty uh, nice guest house that you'll see. Oh, look at this kid. What is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? He's challenging us. Ah! He's just right there. <laughs> He's like <laughs> mini Khabib. <Yeah. laughs> but uh, we're heading up to the guest house uh, now, which actually looks pretty nice. I just saw like a, a, um, glimpse, of a glimpse of it. Nice green uh, modern place. So we'll see how much that costs, see if they have any rooms available for us. That's like one of, there's only a few places to stay here, right? It's just the only one that's like an actual guest house, okay. the rest are uh, just like actual just someone's house. Yeah, there. right. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting city. You know, the good thing is about Kogestan is that kids are always like out playing on their bikes or just playing with the nature. I feel like even when I was growing up, all we do was play video games <laughs> and like sit on our phones and iPads. So it's uh, a relieving sight to see kids actually out like how they used to back in the day. Ooh, bit of off-roading here. Oh, the horse, mate, you're gonna get run over. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, wow, another one. Oh, here it is. Oh, they also have yurts and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go in and see uh, what it's like. Yeah, it's cold, isn't it? Wow. It is a knife. <laughs> Alright. Oh, lots of activity going on. 
All right, everybody. So this is our camp for the night. Uh, we're actually not sleeping there. We're sleeping on the floor. <laughs> There's two other people uh, staying in here as well. There's some really bizarre stuff in here. Like, what on earth is that? <laughs> There's uh, like pads and knives just on the table. There's shields, there's swords. I feel like I'm in the medieval days. Yeah. Like there's whips and <laughs> like, <laughs> we're gonna go jousting or something. So interesting. We're gonna set up camp here quickly and then we'll go out and explore the, uh, the city or should I say town, I guess. But look how beautiful it is out here. It's just so lush. There's some chickens, some big chickens, mind you. Wow, he's got big legs. Um, some grass and some horses. Uh, it's just absolutely beautiful out here in Jokeland. Look at these chickens. This one, like he's, I'll try and get a close up of him. He is huge. Look how, <laughs> look how fat he is. <laughs> it's like a, a mama chicken. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Look at him run. Oh, well, this guy's big as well. He's got such big legs. <laughs> Get on the ground, Jake. Get on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're fake, actually, guys. They're uh, made of rubber. But we're set up. These are our beds. And apparently, the two people that are sleeping there actually run the Nomadic Games, which is a huge organization here in Kyrgyzstan that. Basically, it's like the Olympics for like the nomadic the sports, nomadic like sports. eagle hunting and all that kind of horse riding. But this sort of explains all the, I guess, nomadic kind of attire and all these uh, cool little chess pieces. Got some whips as well. Maybe, or maybe they just got some really like kink, like some major kinks <laughs> <laughs> that they need to uh, fulfill. So we're going to head out now and we'll explore the town, see what we can find and see if there's anything interesting to document. Before we head out, just for context, we're paying $600, not $600, <laughs> Jeez, if we were paying $600, 600 SOM per night for this, it, that, includes, that includes breakfast and dinner. Um, so around 10 Australian dollars, what's that in pounds, like, like five, five, five pounds, six, six quid, pounds, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know, pretty, it's a beautiful destination and the owner's lovely, so I think it's worth it. Right. Oh, almost slipped. <laughs> right now we are in an abandoned mine. Uh, obviously after the Soviet Union collapsed, a lot of these outer towns uh, stopped mining, stopped producing uh, raw minerals and you know, all those kind of things. This mine in particular uh, was a coal mine. So uh, up here apparently you can enter this like weird shaft and that goes all the way through to where they would uh, load up the mine carts and basically this is where the trucks would actually come and uh, obviously all the mine carts would come from the mine over there they'd go through this little tunnel which i believe there's some railway trucks and then they just dump it into a big dump truck which would then go out into uh, Karakol and then be distributed across Kyrgyzstan probably uh, to the rest of the world so let's go on do you reckon you can get up there? You're gonna have to do some pull-ups or chin-ups. Oh wow, so there's actually like... Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Our shoes are gonna get so dirty. How would you even... I, would, I think if we just go up and around, we can come in yeah, from the top. Some yeah, let's just go in from the top. All right, we found a little entry point. Might get you to hold that one. Oh wow. <laughs> this is where we tried to climb up before, but I guess the mine carts filled with coal would come all the way from the mine and then they go in here and just spin around and then it would enter the uh, the dump truck that would take it into Caracol. So this is super cool. Wow. All this old Soviet it's still like is that oil? Wow, that's crazy. That looks really fresh. Yeah. Man, 
Well, this is probably like 20 years abandoned. Yeah. Maybe eat way more if, yeah. if it was only in the Soviet era. But, wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. Oh look, a minecart's coming. <laughs> oh, do you know what it is? People have probably just taken these parts recently and like some oh, like scrap sold, or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all blocked off there. Alright, let's go on the other way. Oh wow, look at this. This is like a full... It's like the, the engine. Yeah. Oh shit, look at the electric. Ah, and it connected up, up, it connected up to the... Wow. There's old shovels, <laughs> man. What the hell? These have got to be like decades old. Here, hold that for a second. Yeah. Yeah, You're putting mine. it in the fucking <laughs> engine. This is the mine got. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys will be able to see. Oh, it looks like there's a lot in there. Yeah. From what I'm seeing in the camera. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, we've come to the part where I don't think any more light goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> we're... Uh, Gonna just keep going and see what we come across. It's gonna, oh, it's already a bit cold here. Um, but let's turn on the lights. And we'll, it goes on. wow, wait, shine your light all the way up. All right, well, let's see what happens. Oh, you can like, see my breath already. Or is that just dust? No, I think that is your breath. It is cold in there. Yeah. Alright, you go ahead because you got a stronger torch. Right. There's all oil there, so maybe there is a something that runs up and down stuff. Maybe we're about to get like run over by a big train. <laughs> Running water, I believe. Oh, I just got a big splash on me. <laughs> like the first oh me. wow. Oh that was slippery there. Imagine we come across some gopniks. That's a fucking bear or some shit. <laughs> oh yeah, there's actually bears here, eh? Where's the knife when you need it? Wait, shine your torch up ahead on us. It starts to bend around to the left, I think. Alright. I'll tell you this much, I wouldn't be doing this alone. Fuck. <laughs> we should have bought that fucking samurai sword. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's electrified still? Oh, really? I don't know, but it, unless I hit like a splinter. All right, well that fucking worries me. <laughs> Can you get there? There's like one rock stepping stone that hopefully it's not too slippery for you. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, I almost slipped. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is horrible. This is a terrible idea. Oh wow, this is like, how the hell are you going to do this? Hello Mr. Bear, if you're there, just give us a kind uh, warning when you're coming. Because we're in a very vulnerable position. Turn the lights off, so dark. Oh, that's water. Oh, thank goodness that was solid. How you going? Oh, electric. Really? Fuck yeah. It's so it is electric. Definitely, it's on. <laughs> well, there's definitely people down there then. Hey. Well, I'm glad I'm not gonna grab it. Straight you'd actually, yeah, because you just like, you, then you're you'd, stuck. yeah, you couldn't convulse onto it. All oh, right, well, I mean, it's good to be out of there. Yeah. What did we learn? Number one, that it's electric. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> after we put Jake as the test dummy. Uh, number two, I think it's still in operation by Definitely. not not a company or a business, but I'd say maybe just the local people who go and down there mine some coal and then just sell it on the free market. So, well, I think we just like swallowed so much dust because I just spat and it was dirt. Oh, my lungs wouldn't be too happy. And it makes sense because it wasn't like entire like it wasn't that cold no. in there. I think these are the workers here. Yeah. All right, we've come across this little building. It has an opening, so let's go check it out. Safe enough. Oh, it's literally just a hole. How exciting. I think the top four fell in. Come look at this. Oh, shit, yeah. Hello. Chris the cow, how are you going? Was that Courtney over there? Just chewing away. Okay. All right, can I make it? Oh, yes, he can. Yeah, I think head first. Way to go. Here, just grab this again. This is the pool. <laughs> All right, let's go for a swim. These stairs like smell new. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, the door's opening, so I know. <laughs> I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a fucking mating call or something about death. Anything in there? Not really. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, they're really all just like collapsed and non-functional. Hey, I'll get off. I don't know. Is it doable? I feel like you have a better jump than me. Oh, fuck. Now I got to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I stepped and then jumped. Am I gonna grab you? Hang on, I'll just go. Okay. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Hey ya! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at this, guys. They're fighting. Ooh. Oh, maybe he's coming for me. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's big and fat. All right, look at the beautiful view though.
Hello. Come on, come on. <laughs> you're so, you act so tough, but as soon as I come to you, you run away. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, we have Mr. Cow 0-4 up against the uh, reigning championship in the red corner. He is uh, 1 and 0. A huge right hook there. Huge right hook. And the ref, the ref is about to intervene. The blue corner has not got the odds on him today. And uh, we got 10 seconds left of the round. Both fighters are uh, ref. What are you doing? He is doing absolutely nothing. He's having a sniff of the blue corner. And oh, the last 10 seconds, he's going all out. And uh, that is the round. Both fighters face it off and they head back to their corners. We have met our roommates. Super cool guys. It's bad to do it empty, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's all I've learned from the couple times I've done archery, but wow. This is a bow in sugar bow. Yeah. Attila bow. Attila. Yes. No problem. No problem. He stay, he stay. European problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control. Uh -huh. But shooting. Yeah, yeah. All right. You you feel like a, I feel like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> you like you should get out of bed and piss in the middle of the night. <laughs> Your name? Luke. Luke. Come here. <laughs> oh, I also oh, get you're the... getting, you're getting set up. Oh my goodness. Play video. I am yeah. demonstration for you. Okay. Hey, nothing's getting through here. The important part is not protected. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Farad. Welcome to the Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> I'm teacher. And that is uh, helmet as well. Helmet. Yeah. Helmet. Nobody helmet. Yeah. Yes. Back. <laughs> I have a big head, so I'm not sure it will fit. Oh. Oh, that's alright. Alright. Wow. Left. Left and right. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm ready for war. Yeah, give me your money. It's like being outside Tesco's. Oh, yes. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, uh, for video. Okay. Right, right. Give me your money. Yeah, please give me money. Oh, it's probably going to like, bash me. Give me money. I'm sorry. Help, help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Do you know how easily he could kill us in the middle of the night? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many weapons to choose from. Hello. 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 <laughs> dang, dang. Yeah. <laughs> but no shooting. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Opa. Opa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, there's a leaf. Oh, we will, huh? Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Gotta hold this. Okay. Photo. Photo. Hey guys, just woke up. Just wanted to quickly show you the, um, the bathroom. <laughs> so obviously, we're in like the middle of nowhere. We're very far out from the city, so there's not much really like sewage system. So it's literally just a big hole in the ground. But, yeah. Uh, what is your name? My name is Luke. And uh, where are you from and why you decide 
to arrive in our country and in general Jirgal immigrated. Yeah, I'm from uh, Sydney, Australia. Mm -hmm. um, so I visited Kyrgyzstan about a month ago and I've been here ever since. I was only expecting to be here for maybe like two weeks, but it's an amazing country. So <laughs> amazing. Yeah, it's really Why? beautiful. The nature is amazing. So ended up uh, coming to Jirgaland with one of my friends here and now we're here for the next couple of days. I like experiencing different cultures, you know, every country is going to be different, you have different foods, mm -hmm. different, uh, you know, just different everything. I mean, in Australia we don't get this amazing <laughs> mountains, really? no, maybe beaches and stuff, but mm. not this stuff. Morning guys, well, I must say that was probably the most bizarre start to the morning I've ever had in my life. I just got like interviewed by like a full film crew in the middle of nowhere. Uh, in terms of the sleep, I knew coming in that sharing a room with people is always a risk and unfortunately it was, it was the risk it was the risk we had to take because there were no other options but it was an alright sleep the beds were super comfy temperature was fine snoring is my pet peeve and the two people that we were staying with uh, were snoring throughout the night alarms going off at like 5 a.m. and it's like 8 a.m. now and I got up before them so I don't know why you would set an alarm and not get up uh, but there's a couple goats over here let's go see what oh no they're sheep look at the sheep yeah. Suzanne the sheep how you going Suzanne oh Suzanne's not too happy and there's a cow oh they're running Courtney's back Courtney the cow yeah. anyways gonna sit on this rock here and uh, ponder life. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Yes. Guess what I just did. Guess. What? Don't know. No, I was interviewed. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> By like two like huge cameras. Oh, well. Yeah. Everything was good apart from the like other people. But yeah, like they yeah. weren't like horrible people. No. But just like. If you don't need to wake up, don't set an alarm for six o'clock. And like three of them. <laughs> and a song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Uh -oh. How many have you eaten already? Two. Same. Plenty else. That's so good. I suck. <laughs> it's harder. <laughs> Sounds like it clapped on the back of the head. Oh, there's no tail. That's why. <laughs> what are you doing Jake? Setting up the funnel, filling up old mate Nelson with a bit of fuel because we might not make it back if we don't fill up. <laughs> Alright guys, we left our accommodation, uh, as you saw, Nelly, or Nelson I should say, had a little bit of an issue uh, starting up, but we got her going. Is he or she? I don't know. Let's, I don't know. We're just going to go off track uh, to see where it takes us and then eventually head back to to Caracol, but it's just, it's at, like, this is just so picturesque. Like, <laughs> Do you know how, like, pay, how much people would pay to just like be yeah, here? Yeah. This is like insane. Blue skies, green meadows. You even got yellow daffodils or yellow flowers just around the paddocks. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And we're just gonna, oh, we're going off-road, are we? All right. Well, it's not really off-road. We need kinda... to go that way to get home. Oh, so okay. let's just try and, <laughs> just try and get home. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
So we came to a bit of a bog and a dead end. Luke is uh, out eyeing us up. Alright, send a back up. Give it some. Yeah, and then I reckon just head Downwards. straight down and hopefully we link back up with a... Alright everybody, we uh, came across a big section that we... A Either hey, we could do it, but we get bogged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and probably in the middle of nowhere, that's not ideal. So we're just gonna head like straight down, hopefully link back up with uh, another road. And then... Road. Yeah, <laughs> I say road, but I mean just like two tire tracks maybe. <laughs> Uh, and then hopefully make our way that way over towards that year and then I think that will somewhat put us towards the direction of Caracol but this seems a lot more doable what a beast let's go Nelly Woo! Oh, yeah. We're a little bit sideways here. <laughs> Mate, the flex on this, the flex on Nelson is incredible. Wow. We good. Well, after what, two hours? Two hours, I think, yeah. Of uh, roaming around the mountains getting through the rivers and stuff, we're back on the road to Caracol. All right guys, so we spent a night in Jurgland. I'm currently driving, this feels so weird on the left side of the road, I'm used to being on the right, and then like the gears are on the right, it's like the most bizarre experience yet. But we're heading back to Caracol now. Um, what did you think of Jurgland? Pretty fun? Pretty nice, yeah, yeah. yeah beautiful. Pretty nice, beautiful spot. Um, but yeah, only an hour or so out of Caracol, so definitely worth the visit, so. I'm going to drive on back to Caracol. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.